AI video generators are basically advancing each and every day and you can actually use this to create an entire movie. Just watch this, can you believe Isaac Newton is wearing spectacle and then basically in the library reading books? This is basically from a still image that are transformed into video. Just watch this as well. This is just a movie scene created with AI too and there are a lot basically over here. Just watch this as well. It's also generated with AI. So these videos you are seeing basically are not real. They are basically created using AI too. And I will take you through this and I'll show you the best AI tool that you can actually use to create this kind of videos. You will never regret using this AI tool. You can create a complete scene or amazing kid story or whatever you want to do. Just test videos or even subject reference. You can actually do this using this AI tool. And the AI tool I'm going to talk about is called Minimax Hello AI. So basically this is how the interface looks like. You first need to sign up. You need to sign up first. Once you sign up, you need to actually there's a free version you can actually use even though it's quite slow you can use this free version but if you want to perform a professional work you want a faster result then you can go for a paid version so basically you can see here so basically you can see here there's a free option completely zero you're not supposed to pay anything and you have some daily credit for login and also you can actually queue up to three tax but if you want to get faster results then you may Consider going for the standard or probably the pro version, depending on the way. Depending on how fast you want your results, you can pick it whatever package you want. So let's jump right into this. So what is going to happen is that this AI tool is having three options for image to video. Now they've recently introduced the audio pass where you, where you can basically transform text to audio. So this is also amazing. Minimax is already doing so well. They have the Next to audio aspiration, now let's go to create video. So when you click on create video, they, they are basically going to give you three options. We have the image to video, text to video, and then a subject reference. I think I like the subject. I think I like the subject reference so much that you can actually just add a still image, just putting in the function there, and then you should see your image transform right into that. But let's look at the image to video. Normally what happens is that you can just drop any image here and then put in some description. So I'm just going to drop some image right here. This image. So I drop this image here. This is basically a static image, no movement. It's a still image. All you have to do is to put in some description here. So let's just see working and then let's try to generate this and see the results. So as you can see, this is just a still image. This is right there. So basically, as you can see, this is a still image, and now we can make this image work. You can add it whatever we want this image. If you want this image to jump, whatever you want, you can actually do that using just a prompt. So I said working, and you can see this image is working. We've added some life to this image. You can do this for just any image at all. Whatever you want to do, just put the description, add a prompt, and then you should get a perfect result. So basically that is the image to video. You can actually do text to video as well. So all you need to do is to put some information over here. So let's say young boy playing football. So basically this is actually the text to video. And then here you can actually add camera direction and all that. And some other presets over there you can use. So all we need to do is to put in some text over here. And then we can convert this text to video. So all you need to do is to generate this. So let's say young boy playing football and let's see the results. So as you can see the text to image option is also amazing. We just type young boy playing football and look at what we got. That is amazing. You can actually use different different options. Just indicate what you want and you should get a perfect result. So this is the young boy playing football. Now we're going to try the last part which is actually a subject reference. Now this final part is the subject reference. All you need to do is to add a reference image. It could be image of yourself or a celebrity that you want to transform into something. I remember it's going to use a face and identity of that one to create your whatever you want to do. So here, I'm going to click here to add an image. So I've already added some images over here. If you want to add any new image, just click over here. Just click over here. Upload a character. And here, I'm just going to use Isaac Newton. I'm going to use this image here. And let's say wearing sunglasses. So I just want to transform this still image, that's Isaac Newton image, to somebody wearing sunglasses. Let's see the results.
Wow, look at the impressive result we had for Isaac Newton wearing sunglasses. So this is just a prompt we added wearing sunglasses and then we just transform this image into something else. Then this Isaac Newton is now reading book and wearing sunglasses. There's a lot we can do with Hello AI Mini Max, but for now this is basically how to transform images into video using this amazing tool. Must subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Till I come away again. Bye bye.